For now, we've got Jeff from Zoo Montana and Walter joining us again. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing so good. Good. Um, and yeah, so tell us a little bit. Uh, Walter is a Flemish yeah, giant. Yeah, giant. Yep, exactly. Giant Flemish giant rabbit. Flemish. Uh, interestingly enough, not a real breed. I mean, they're a breed, but they're not in the wild, so you're not going to go out in the wild and see them. And going back to your question, Miller, uh, you got, totally didn't under, didn't know this. They could run 25 to 45 That's miles crazy. an hour. It's crazy. So much get. faster than I ever thought. Feed and it is in it. short bursts. So you're not going to see them darting. 100 yards at that speed, yeah. it's going to be from bush to bush, obviously, to running from those sure. predators, which is crazy. One of the other things I did for today's segment is I kind of researched the idea of what, why the Easter bunny, why a bunny is, <laughs> is associated with Easter. Interesting. And I'll be honest with you, there's about 7 million different theories on why it is. I found two that I thought sounded Seemed relatively legitimate. good. One was a was a children's story from the from the early 1500s in Germany. Um, the original uh, animal was actually an Easter hare, which hares are a little bit different than rabbits. The other one was from a pagan uh, uh, ceremony uh, from Yoster, who was the goddess of spring or goddess of fertility, mm. and her animal symbol was a rabbit. Mm. So there's oh, thought that it had something Timely. to do with that too. So you can read on it, and I, like I said, found about 3,000 different things. That but one interesting thing, thing I did find, and this is not one of my dumb jokes, the Easter Bunny is actually from Easter Island. So, you know, Santa oh. Claus from the North Pole, Easter right. Bunny from I've Easter that, Island. So, like yeah, that. yeah, so that's cool. interesting. I oh, that. super interesting. Always learn something, yeah. which is great. All right, All right let's Walter. talk about uh, kiddos. You know, you, have, you heard like uh, rabbits produce a lot. They do. Yeah, reproduce a lot. So what about... what about? Uh, yeah, so uh, the thing about rabbits is that their gestation is only 30 days, about a month. And so they, they will breed, they'll have babies, and they can have litters of, I mean, dozens of, of babies, and then they can get right back out there and breed again. And they can breed as young as five to six months old. Mm. And so their, their population can explode if it's if it's not checked however as crude as it sounds obviously them being a prey item for so many animals that's why they breed like that because so many don't survive An into adulthood and even into adulthood they're still preyed upon so much wow. that they just have to keep those numbers high in order to keep their populations going you know and interestingly enough here in Montana so this is a lagomorph a lot of people think rabbits are rodents they're actually called lagomorphs mm -hmm. and we have eight different lagomorphs here in Montana six of which are rabbits we have a lot of domestic rabbits that are loose in billing so we have a real problem with with feral domestic rabbits. And so any rabbit that you see that's a, like a black color or, or dark brown or speckled, that's a domestic breed. The, mm. the species we have are more of a drab color to blend in with the, the plains of Montana. Okay, and before we go, tell us about, you've got an annual Bear Aware event coming up this weekend. Yeah, this weekend, Saturday at Bear Aware Day, great opportunity for us to, to partner up with Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. We're gonna have some great table events. We're gonna have delicious treats from Flowers Bakery. Um, gonna be a great opportunity to see the cubs, and hopefully we're gonna be doing some demonstrations with those cubs. And, and campsites and showing oh, you what so bears fun. can do if you don't uh, properly store your food in your campsite. It's okay. Not pretty. Okay, so that's coming up this Saturday, Jeff. Thank you so much for coming oh, in. Pleasure. Bringing Walter, helping with our trivia. That oh, was so course. fun. That was fun. We'll be back right after this.